Hi, my name is Peter Tuch and I'm the founder and CEO of QWERTY Free and we've developed a new app for iOS called Five Key Shift. It's a keyboard extension app for iPhones and iPads that allows users to type using gestures, not buttons. And uh, the easiest way to show you what I mean is to give you a quick little demo. So as you can see on the screen, the alphabet is uh, divided into four quadrants. We've got a left quadrant with the letters A through F. We've got another quadrant, the up quadrant, with the letters G through L. We've got the right quadrant, which is letters M through R, and the a down quadrant, which has the rest of the alphabet. So as we cycle through, you can see that every quadrant has a set of letters in them, and each set of those letters, each letters within the set, are typed by a first directional slide in that direction. For example, all of these letters in the blue or left quadrant can be typed by sliding first to the left, and then the letter that is typed will be determined by what you do after that first slide. As you can see in the top left, there's a what we call a spotlight indicator. There's a little yellow dot there that is inside or to the right of the dark black arc. That tells me that I am sliding a short, what we call a short distance. And if I let go, I'll type the letter E. But I'm going to continue on beyond the black arc, which tells me I'm sliding a, what we call, long distance. And if I let go, I will type the letter A. So the A and the E are the two most often typed letters in the English language. And so the A is a single slide to the left long, and an E is a single slide to the left short. The letter C can be typed by left up. The letter F can be typed by left down. The letter B, like the letter A, is typed by going long left, but then you come back to the right. And the letter D, like the letter E, is a short left. Notice I'm still inside of that black arc on the spotlight. And then I just come back to the right to type the letter D. So in all, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything and I can go A, B, C, D, E, and F. The rest of the alphabet follows suit. As you can see, there's just simple slides, and the bottom quadrant is a little different. Um, there's a little bit more going on. We've added the backspace. Oops, I kind of screwed up there. We added the backspace, which is down left, and then the return, which is long down, and then up left. So we've also got numbers as well. Numbers are diagonal first directional slides, whereas the letters are orthogonal. So for the numbers, I can type the number one by sliding up left, the number two by sliding up left followed by a left turn, the number three sliding up left followed by a right turn, four is basically a U-turn, and five is going up left all the way. So we can cycle through the numbers that way, and we can also do characters. Finally, we've even allowed the ability to type emojis without looking. So once you know the alphabet layout, you can type emojis when you select emoji mode. For example, the thumbs up emoji would be typed by typing the letter T in emoji mode, which is long down there. The OK hand is the O, the grin is a G, wink is a W, um, a kiss is a K, and so forth. So we basically mapped all of the keys on a keyboard and emojis to simple one or two directional slides, which replaces the buttons. Is it available on Android and iOS right now? Only, it's only available on iOS right now, so you can get, download it from the App Store, and um, when you download it, you'll be able to use it on all your devices. Uh, we're working on um, plans for a Android version, probably uh, scheduled for a mid-year release or something like that. But we do have an announcement to make. We are working on a version for the iPhone 10, which will incorporate facial recognition as the way to generate the gestures. So instead of sliding left long, for example, to type the letter A, you could configure it to, to uh, nod your head left to type the letter A, or if that was impractical, we could configure it to blink your left eye to type the letter A. So we're really excited about that aspect of our keyboard in reaching the, you know, more, uh, uh, more people uh, within, within the accessibility audience. 
So where would people, what would people search in the App Store to find your uh, keyboard? Oh, thank you for asking. You can search QWERTY free, which is Q-W-E-R-T-Y free, F-R-E-E, -E, all one word. The name QWERTY free comes from the, the keyboard that we're also used to. The top row of keys is QWERTY, Q-W-E-R-T-Y. So you can search that or you can search five key shifts.